In this video, I'm going to solve the ODE, y prime prime plus 2y prime plus y is equal to 0, subject to the initial conditions, y naught is equal to 4, and y prime naught is equal to minus 6. So what we are given there, we see that that's a second order ODE with constant coefficients. It is of the form a2y prime prime plus a1y prime plus a naught y is equal to 0 where the a2, a1, and a0 are constants, and uh, to solve uh, second order ODEs with constant coefficients, what we have to do is we have to find the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of an equation of this form is a2m squared plus a1m plus a0 is equal to zero. The roots of the auxiliary equation determine the nature of the solution that we get. So if we have real distinct roots, m1 not equals to m2, the solution to the ODE is y is equals to c1 exponent of m1x plus c2 exponent of m2x. If we have the real repeated roots where we have m1 being equals to m2, which will call just an m, the solution is y is equals to c1 plus c2x multiplied by exponent of mx. If we have complex conjugate roots, m is equals to plus or minus ib, the solution is y is equals to exponent of ax multiplied by c1 sine of bx plus c2 cosine of bx. So in this case, if we look at this equation here, its auxiliary equation, we see that it's m squared plus 2m plus 1 is equals to 0. We can try to factorize this equation and we'll get m plus 1 multiplied by m plus 1 is equals to 0. In this case, we see that we have a real a repeated root, we have m is equals to minus 1. So if m is equals to minus 1, our solution will be of this form where we have a real or repeated root. So we are saying our solution is of the form y is equals to c1 plus c2x multiplied by exponent of mx. In this case, our m is equals to minus 1. So if we substitute m equals to minus 1 into this equation here, we get our general solution is y is equals to c1 plus c2x multiplied by exponent of minus x. So this is uh, the general solution that we have. So we'll now go on and use these initial conditions to find the constants c1 and c2. The first one there is saying y0 is equal to 4. What it is saying there is when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 4. We substitute that into this equation here. So where we have the y, we'll put 4. And where we have x, we'll put 0. So we'll have 4 is equal to c1 plus c2 times 0 multiplied by exponent of 0. This exponent of 0, that's a 1. And this part where we have c2 multiplied by 0, it will give us a 0. So we'll just remain with 4 is equal to c1. So what we have there is c1 is equal to 4. Now for the second condition there, we're having y prime not is equal to 0. What it is saying there is y prime at x equals to 0 is minus 6. So what we need to do is we need to obtain y prime from this equation. So before I differentiate that equation to obtain the y prime, I just multiply throughout by this exponent of minus x. So that we get y is equals to c1 exponent of minus x plus c2 x exponent of minus x. Then go on and differentiate. In this part we can differentiate it. But looking at this part now, that's a product both we're having x multiplied by exponent of minus x and when you have a product we use the product rule u v prime is equals to u prime v plus u v prime so we use uh, the product rule on this part here so when we differentiate the y which is here we would get that y prime is equals to minus c1 exponent of minus x plus c2 exponent of minus x minus c2 x exponent of minus x. Now go on and substitute the initial condition there. We are saying that y prime at x equals to 0 is equals to minus 6. So in this equation where we have the y prime there, we have minus 6. And uh, where we have uh, the x there, we'll put 0. So we we'll remain with minus 6 is equals to minus c1 plus c2. But we already have our c1, it's here, it's a 4. So if we substitute uh, c1 equals to 4 in, into this equation, we would have minus 6 is equals to minus 4 plus c2. Therefore, we would get that c2 is equals to minus 6 
plus 4, which gives us a minus 2. So we have C2 is equal to minus 2. So we now have the values for C1 and C2. Go on and substitute these values into our equation for y here, and we get that our y is equal to 4 minus 2x multiplied by exponent of minus x. So what you are having there, that's the solution of this differential equation subject to these two conditions here.